Welcome to Night's Arcade, I'm Sleepless Night, and I'm going to talk very briefly about an upcoming content update for my current space obsession, Hard Space Shipbreaker. But first, I gotta turn on the lights. Stay where you are for 12 seconds. <laughs> Shipbreaker developers Blackbird Interactive have been chatting in devlogs and podcast interviews this week about various elements of the game as it progresses through development in Steam Early Access onto the eventual release, including what brought them to this point and what's to come in the future. They announced not long ago their intention to move away from tiny incremental monthly changes towards less frequent but larger alterations and additions to this already highly addictive game, such as the recent Haunted Frontier update, which introduced the permanent addition of AI-controlled ghost ships, and the various nuggets of backstory you can find amongst the derelicts explaining how they went all scooby-doo. But the update they are now hinting at for the end of December is the one I am most excited about so far because it will introduce a new ship type. Now, those of you familiar with Hard Space Shipbreaker might think, so what? We already had new ship types introduced. The new Stargazer Science Gecko arrived in August and then the Salvage Runner Gecko in early October. And yes, we have seen new ship classes and there are many different configurations of passenger mackerel and cargo mackerel, passenger gecko, cargo gecko, science gecko and salvage gecko, all with varying degrees of difficulty, different systems and equipment and different contents to salvage. But so far, these are all just boxes of different sizes, all more or less the same shape and with more or less all their contents on the inside. December's update will introduce an entirely different kind of ship than anything we've seen in the game so far, which BBI art director Chris Williams describes, quite accurately I think, as BBI ship type meets NASA ship type. The Javelin class starships will be very different from anything we've encountered before in Shipbreaker, at least in the salvage bay. Ships that look like they have a similar sort of ancestry can be seen farther out beyond Morrigan Station and, if you look very closely indeed, out near the railgate in the distance. They haven't been much more than silhouettes in the distance so far, but now it looks like we're going to see these ships up close and they will completely change everything we think we know about cutting. For starters, these things have a lot of their guts and vital systems on the outside. BBI had this to say about the Javelin in a recent Unity blog post. Lynx Corp has acquired the salvage rights to a new line of decommissioned ships. Say hello to the Helix Industries Javelin class Starship. These vessels leverage a system of highly modular radial segments in their construction, providing for a large variety of sizes and functions. Unlike other ship designs, the Javelin has many externally exposed components and subsystems, the extraction of which will require becoming familiar with the Javelin's network of external support structures. Interior space on Javelin-class ships is limited and manoeuvrability can be challenging. Cutters are encouraged to read up on the effects of extreme claustrophobia and the recommended breathing exercises. Always be sure to have an escape route planned while working inside these ships you may need to get out in a hurry. From the brief glimpse we've been given in the few images shown here, I'm honestly wondering how they're going to fit it in the salvage bay, but we will have to wait until the end of December to find out. Elsewhere, in the recent Unity interview, game director Elliot Hudson reiterated that the team at BBI is committed to creating a fully fleshed out campaign for Hard Space Shipbreaker where a story will unfold as the player works their way slowly through that insane amount of debt we, the player character, incurred for the privilege of being brought up here to work for Lynx in the first place. And Chris Williams added that they are trying to add more and more things which will contribute to player immersion in this gritty blue collar environment they have already done such a fantastic job of creating. I for one cannot wait to see what's next for Hard Space Shipbreaker but that's it for me in this video. Until the next one you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, 
Patreon or Discord, all of which are linked below in the video description or on the Knights Arcade channel header. Or you can catch up with me live every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday right here on YouTube. If you don't want to do any of that, but you like this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and you want to see more from me in the future. But until next time, from Knights Arcade, this is Sleepless Night saying nighty night.